Here on the off-grid homestead, they've taken all considerations in preparing, including and not overlooking one of the most important yet overlooked items, and that is sanitation. Again, they have multiple ways of taking care of the sanitation issue. We're going to discuss those here on this video. Here is probably the most practical and easiest, least expensive way to take care of a problem when you have no electricity and no water to flush your toilets. Of course, if you're in an off-grid situation and you don't have water supply, you're not going to be using your stored water to flush toilets. So this is a very simple solution. First thing you would do is you would plug the hole down in the bottom of the toilet. The reason for that is if you're in a flood situation, there may be backflow coming back through the sewers or septic systems. You don't want any of that coming back out of the toilet. Another thing is if you're using the toilet as normal and you can't flush it, you may attract rats and other pests up through the sewer system and you don't want to have cockroaches and rats coming up through your toilet into your house. The best way to block that is to use a Nerf ball. Here we have two different kinds of Nerf balls. This is called the Poof Nerf Ball and this does not work. This is very soft material and it does not stay tight. You can see how much I can reduce this down. And There's a lot of back pressure. This will just pop right out. It also will absorb whatever is in the bowl. So don't use the Poof Ball. Use this Nerf Ball and this is another Poof Ball but you can see it's completely different. This is much harder material than this right here. What you would do is you take this ball, squeeze it, put it down inside the hole, and that will block anything coming back out of the sewer for you. Then what you do is you take your very inexpensive 15 gallon kitchen garbage bags, this, these happen to be 13 gallon bags, and you put it underneath the toilet seat and put the toilet seat down on top of it. Then you defecate inside of that bag, but do not urinate in it. If you urinate in this bag, that is where you get the very strong smell from human waste. You have a different five gallon bucket or something over to the side to urinate in. What they recommend is using a little, what they call pee cup that you get from the hospital. Now the a nice thing about a pee cup is that it will fit right underneath this edge of the toilet and so when a woman uses the toilet they can sit down and urinate and defecate and have it separated. The same thing for the men or the men can just stand and urinate in a bucket or a pee cup that they, has a handle on it that you can get from the hospital supply store for very inexpensive. To keep the smell down once you've you started using this bag you simply put a piece of cardboard or wood underneath this seat here and that'll keep any smell out and then of course cover the bucket or take the bucket out. Now what you have in the urine can be used on your plants outside is completely safe to use and that helps your plants grow in your vegetable garden. As weird as that may sound it's great for nitrogen. When the bag is full enough you take the bag, take it outside, you need to dig a hole as deep as possible maybe five feet deep, three feet deep, whatever you can do take the bag, dump it upside down so everything comes out of the bag, throw the waste into the hole and then the bag into the hole and throw soil or sand or lime or cat litter or something like that into the hole and then you can do the process over again until the hole becomes pretty full. Then you want to cap it off with maybe six inches or so of just soil on the top to keep animals from digging down the side of it. Very simple. It's less work than you think. It's less mess than you think. In Australia when they had a water outage people started using their bathroom sinks, their bathroom tubs, in addition to the toilets to defecate in within three days. It was a huge sanitation issue. Don't get caught in that trap by not being prepared and spending just a very little bit amount of money on a bag of 200 13 gallon or 15 gallon kitchen bags and a couple Nerf balls and you're set. In addition, pick up those pee cups from the hospital supply store or keep it when you go to the hospital. You've already paid for it. 
Now let's take a look at a more high-end solution with a masticating toilet. While we're here, let me just mention that I do not promote using humanure in your garden. That's very dangerous because that's uh, waste from a carnivore and that's how you spread mad cow disease. Do not use human waste in the garden. You can if it's properly cared for, but most of us don't have the experience or the knowledge to take care of it. It's not a lot of work, but just be safe and put the fecal matter in the bag and then down the hole after you take it out of the bag and cover it up. There are plenty other solutions for fertilizers that are far less dangerous and much safer than using humanure. You also need to keep in mind women's sanitation. Here we have a couple different solutions. This is called a Diva Cup. This is like a tampon which is reusable. You just simply wash it out and sanitize it with soap and water. This is a size 2. This is for anybody who's already had a pregnancy. A size 1 is for those who have not delivered a baby. So this is a great solution. It's called the Diva Cup. I'll have a link below for this. And then this is called a Luna Pad. And of course this is a maxi pad that's washable. It comes in different sizes and I'll have a link down below for this. Don't forget to take care of the women in your life. Make sure that they have sanitation for their needs too. Tucked away in one of the closets in this actually beautiful home, this is a secondary building here, is what's called a mastication toilet. Now the reason why it's in the closet here is because this is a regular house with regular toilets, but for an emergency situation where they won't have sewer, which they have here now, they have this toilet. And this is pretty much, in layman's terms, a micro septic system. What this particular toilet does, it costs about $700. It's a regular looking toilet except for this box underneath. And this box underneath will take the fecal matter and the urine and a little bit of water, mix it together into a, like a slurry, and then it will flush out down through this piping here into a 55 gallon drum that you put underground. Inside of that 55 gallon drum, which is open-ended on the bottom, you fill it up with gravel to about six inches from the top. Because the waste product is already masticated, it'll break down much faster and be able to be processed much faster than if you just had a large septic system. So for a fraction of the cost of putting in a septic system, and for the comfort of using a, what feels like a regular toilet, you can use a mastication toilet in an off-grid situation. Now you do need to have power, electric power, and you do need to have water pressure. And if you have solar power or a generator which will run a water pump and electricity, then you're set. So for an upscale, more comfortable solution, you may consider a mastication toilet. They also have a composting toilet, but I don't have it set up here, so I'm not going to videotape it, but there's plenty of videos on composting toilets. Again, multiple backups, not one, but two or three backups ensures that they'll be able to have a good sanitation solution as far as taking care of human waste. There are other measures you need to consider in sanitation that I won't cover on this video. So if you want to be off grid and take care of your sanitation, consider one of these two or three different ways to manage your sanitation needs. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And you won't have to fear disease or sickness from lack of proper sanitation if you consider all your options and take measures now before you have to use them.